Good evening and welcome back to the Southwest Snooker Academy here in Gloucester for the 2018 Eden Women's Masters, the latest event of this season's World Women's Snooker Tour. Uh, my name's Michael Day and we're, I'm delighted to be bringing you live stream coverage of the final here between our top two seeds in the competition, Rianne Evans, who's chasing a fifth Masters title in a sixth consecutive Masters final, and Rebecca Kenner, who is trying to aim for her first main tour title on the circuit it's going to be a best of seven frames match um, I say it should be a fantastic um, occasion in store for us we'd really appreciate if you could um, obviously if you enjoy what you're, you're watching to share it on social media we are live on YouTube we're also on Facebook as well as I say it should be a really engrossing encounter between the top two seeds in the competition they both had a uh, passage through to the knockout stage. They were spared the qualifying. We will sort of go through a little bit of how they got there um, as the match progresses, but we'll, we'll just have a look at the opening exchanges before we sort of go through that. So action started yesterday here in Gloucester. There were seven groups of, of players with the top two qualifying for the last 16. As I say, both Rianne and Rebecca being the top two seeds, they were automatically placed into the, the knockout draw. We'll just quickly go through their path, how they've got to this the final this evening here at the Southwest Academy. Um, so Rianne Evans has actually not dropped a frame so far. She beat Louise Cothier 3-0 in the last 16. She defeated the youngster Chloe White 3-0 in the quarterfinals. And you might have seen on the stream earlier, she beat 19-year-old Emma Parker 4-0. Emma was um, playing in her first semi-final main tour event on the World Women's Circuit. Rebecca Kenner, number two seed. Like Rianne, she come through her first couple of matches without dropping a frame. She beat Jackie Ellis 3-0 in the last 16. Then she beat Stephanie Daughtery 3-0 in the quarterfinals. And against Susie Opacic in the semi-finals on the other table, table two, um, she lost the opening frame, went 1-0 down, but she won the next four, so she came through 4-1. So um, Rebecca herself has only dropped one frame, so they both come through through impressively. We did see with Rianne in the semi-final against Emma, she didn't get it all her own way. Emma kept the match very competitive, but uh, Rianne was very patient and showed a lot of discipline in, in getting to the final. She didn't want uh, any mistakes. There is a little bit of a, a backstory behind behind this. The um, both Rianne and Rebecca have played each other a couple of times on the circuit this season. Rebecca, I think, back in um, September October at the Light Task UK Championship, defeated Evans three two in the last sixteen, and actually reached a second final there before losing uh, Neon Yi in the final four one. But the following competition at the European Women's Masters in Belgium, Rianne got a little bit of a revenge. Um, defeating um, Rebecca in the semi-finals and that was on the way to winning the title so there is a little bit of uh, history going on th this season as I said Rianne Evans is a obviously has a, a CV full of major titles not just on the women's circuit but outside of that on the amateur game as well she's chasing down her fifth Masters title she lost her crown around this time last year when she lost to Omni 4-3 in a, in a thrilling final so she'll be looking to reclaim her crown that's a terrific shot there from Rebecca obviously Rebecca's going to be a little bit nervous coming into this match it's her third final on the circuit she reached the 2017 Connie Goth Memorial Final and the previously mentioned UK Championship she reached at the Northern Snooker Centre in Leeds a couple of months ago so Rebecca will be hoping it's it's third time lucky. She's proven that she does have the game to beat Rianne, but this is a major final on the circuit, so there's a lot of added pressure. Especially with the difference in prize money. Both players are already on good paydays for the weekend. But both will double their money should they win, obviously along with the beautiful trophy that we have. As 
I say, we are on YouTube, we are on social media, so if you have any questions at all that you'd like to ask me, or any questions about the, the World Women's Snooker Tour itself, by all means, give us a... Uh, ask us a question in the chat box, or try contacting us via one of the social media methods, and we'll do our best to, to answer you. We might not answer you straight away, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. That was a bit of a loosener from from Rianne and Rebecca's back in, although the black's not in its spot, although it does look as if it's in the open. Yeah, she'll be disappointed with that effort. She's uh, well short of pace there. It looks as if she might be able to get to the black. I just wonder whether or not she can get to the potting angle after all. Sometimes these cameras are deceiving. She felt she could get to it. Although did miss it on the thin side, so perhaps the, the potting angle wasn't there after all. <coughs> but no damage done. She's covered the, the pocket. As we saw in the semi-final, Rianne's not scared to switch hands for certain shots. That's a Fantastic weapon to have in your arsenal. Yeah, so that didn't uh, go according to plan at all. That's a bit of a double whammy there for Rebecca Knox. Only as she potted the black, she's gone in off and left her head over the pocket. So it's actually a, a triple whammy that's has gone as bad as it possibly could. Certainly not the way she would have wanted to start in the final, but she realised there's a, a long way to go. Nicely controlled there from Rianne. It's never easy potting a ball that's very close to, to a pocket in terms of sort of controlling the cue ball, but she's managed to get pretty much A1 position on the blue, and one would suggest this is a good opportunity for her to score a few points here. Both players have had the chance to play on this live stream table across the weekend. Like I say, we saw Rianne defeat Emma Parker 4-0 a couple of hours ago. While Rebecca won a quarter-final match in this arena. So both will be fairly familiar with, with the con table conditions. It was fantastic to have the insight of Dominic Dale with us for the last match. Who um, is actually a regular on this practice table, so he had a really good sort of idea of how it plays he was very knowledgeable about the conditions he said it's a very difficult table to play on tight conditions tight pockets so this is a real challenge for both players but we know both players are big break builders so the pink doesn't spot so it moves on to the the brown spot As a consequence, Rianne's had to come up the table to continue the break. sinks the pink again but again we'll see that the it gets put back on the brown spot so she's having to work hard for these points here but she is in control she has established uh, a little bit of a leave a little bit of a lead in this opening frame yeah very tricky down the cushions especially on the the conditions we have here these are fantastic tables these are star tournament tables that you will see on professional television so it's been a real challenge for the players this weekend although we have seen several several considerable breaks in fact Rianne Evans here last year made a break of 139 on these types of tables so there's evidence of what Rianne is capable of doing
always appeared difficult to get on a colour from that red for Rebecca. She's got herself in a little spot of bother here because she's snookered on all the colours at the bulk end of the table. So she is forced to play the black in some way here. Yeah, just a containing shot really. Couldn't play anything too positive or, or aggressive. Just trying to put the brakes on Rianne. as if Rianne's trying to get in behind possibly the yellow here although she's under hit that by a, a few inches seemed a good line just the, the length that was disappointing she has got control though of this frame a little 36 frame advantage but with the reds in the open that could change Although this is the final of the main event, you may very well see shadows sort of on, on the stream there. There are still a few tables in action in the arena here at the Southwest Snooker Academy. We have uh, a number of other events going on. We have the Under-21s Championship, the Challenge Cup, the Seniors event. So there's still quite a lot of action going on the in the arena. Obviously our main focus is on this match, but uh, there are... 10 tables in the arena so there's still quite a bit of action going on coincidentally if you want to check up on any of the scores in either this competition or the other competitions I've just mentioned you can head over to mysnookerstats.com and they have all the latest results for you to look at So again, Rebecca wasn't perfect on a colour. I think the black did go into the bottom right hand pocket, but it was a high tariff shot. And she was clattering into other reds as well, so she elected to turn that down in favour of a safety. Not the worst of returns from Rianne, although it was a little bit pacey. So much so that it gave Rebecca a little pop shot on that red. Obviously her main objective was getting the cue ball safe, which she's pretty much done here. I think Rianne might be able to just hit the extreme red of the bunch down here, which she can. She's played that very well. So again we see another example of how confident Rianne is playing left hand switching hands. And she's executed that really well, look at that, it's welded to the bolt cushion. Difficult return this for Rebecca, she's got to avoid the double kiss here. She has but perhaps worrying about the double kiss she overhit it. Overhit it by a long margin. And while she left uh, red on in the middle of the table, the cube was colliding into that cluster of reds and the black, so Rianne felt it wasn't worth her while, although she's boxed that safety. 
we so often see it with snooker, a, a bad shot can be sometimes rewarded. In that instance, that's the case. Just the wrong side of the blue here. But I think she might be able to possibly play it with a bit of check side. Coming up and down off bolt cushion. Might see this straighten up. No, didn't put any check on it. Just played it naturally. say she's a little bit unlucky there to end up exactly there. She had a really good good line and direction. But she's left with a very unfavourable shot. Still took it on though. I don't know if that was um, in frustration of not having an easier shot. I think she might have been rewarded with a bit of luck though, because I think the pink's covering the red into the yellow pocket. Although she did play it with an element of safety, to be fair. She did bring the cue ball up the table, so she was only really going to leave the red that she played on. Rianne was in a bit, bit of a pickle there. She couldn't really attack because she was going to be leaving that red over the pocket, so decided to move the problem herself. And that looks a good shot from Prima Rebecca. I think she's covered all the reds down here at the bottom of the table. And we can see the referee there just having a look at the angle in case it does need to be replaced. wondering whether or not she left the red just underneath the black but um, either way it wasn't really she couldn't get on a colour ideally so again she's put Rianne back in another snooker so that's she's got the pace of the table Rebecca has early doors here I think Rianne's going to play a similar type of shot though she's not but with the red slightly more open now that she, there's more potential leaving one on Played that well though. I think that was about pace, not really hitting it too hard and opening the reds up. So Rebecca's going for hat trick here. See if she can snigger her again. Not on this occasion. A lovely shot there from Rebecca. Obviously, he did play it as a slight shot to nothing. Could only leave, really leave the red she was taken on. She may have actually been a little bit unlucky with that cannon because while she's on the brown, it looks a little bit straight. The pink doesn't look as if it has much angle on it either, so she can count herself rather unlucky there. Rebecca's potted a few good balls this frame, but unfortunately on each occasion she hasn't managed to manufacture a colour afterwards, so quite a lot of her efforts have gone in vain in this frame. Hence why she's such a lowly points total as, at the minute. I think that's one of the reasons why she just dropped the pink in, there was no aspirations are getting on a red there from that angle so just taking the six points hopefully going to play a, a nice safety shot here it's pretty good again 
that's the third time in a series of shots where she's managed to get the cue ball in behind the green to give Rihanna a problem. But we're looking at this, she might be able to just turn it over with a little bit of side. Well, she did put side on it, as you can see, the way the, the cue ball reacted on the top cushion, but it was a complete misjudgment. I just wonder or not she can get to the potting angle of this red and sort of control the cue ball. It's always very difficult when the the cue ball and the object ball are close together. Yeah, it was tougher than it looked. And there was a little bit of pressure on that because Rebecca very well knew she missed it. Should be passing the opportunity straight away to Rianne. Needs a bounce here to land on the yellow. She's just got it. Looks as if she's got a nice angle here to track down, possibly for the red that's also in the that half of the table. Surprising miss from Rianne. Can only put that down to her putting all her efforts in trying to get onto the blue of three cushions. She'll certainly be disappointed that that opportunity only yielded four points. Or three points. <laughs> Shouldn't have got rid of that calculator. <laughs> say that's a lovely shot from Rianne. She was Cuba was tight against the cushion there. It's never easy trying to find trying to cut thin off a red. So whilst the cue ball's not next to the bolt cushion, that's a pretty good return on where she was. Certainly hasn't handed over an opportunity to Rebecca who's obviously gonna have to chase the frame being twenty five points behind. well played. I think that's exactly how Rianne actually played the shot. I don't think she could hit the red actually direct so she knew coming off the back cushion as long as she hit it thin enough the white would track back up to the bulk end so that's very well crafted from the 11 times world champion. Slightly wrong, wrong for Rebecca. Her safety's been very good this frame, but that's a sorry from from Rianne there. That's a mistake from Rianne. So a chance for Rebecca. a bit awkward really us uh, bit in between really in between blue and green just wondering whether or not she's gonna shy away from this blue or gonna go th for it remaining positive by the looks of things yeah remained positive but 
nowhere close really. Usually you might say after a long day's snooker whether or not um, stamina comes into it but being a major championship on the circuit I'm sure the adrenaline is kicking in for both players. Both players obviously practice a lot as well so they dedicate a lot of time so are used to playing long practice sessions and long days at tournaments. As we say it's Rebecca's third time in one of the main events on the World Women's Snooker Tour circuit. Earlier on in the season in Leeds, she reached the final of the UK Championship but lost to Neon Yi 4 1 in the final. So, she'll be looking for a better better outcome than that back in September. But she knows she can actually beat Rianne. She's done it before. On her way to reaching that final in Leeds, she beat Rianne 3 2 in the last 16. She must have the confidence in the back of her mind knowing that she has eliminated Rianne before. And all of a sudden this frame's gone pretty scrappy. You look at the reds, brown and green are possibly tied up. In fact only the yellow is on, on its spot so got very, very awkward and ugly all of a sudden. In fact, looking at the closer, closer inspection, the yellow might just be off its spot as well. So it's not often that we'll see this with all the colours off their spots. But it is the opening frame. We did see it with, the, with Rianne and Emma Parker in the last four clash earlier on. The first frame was quite protracted and, and scrappy. We're only a couple of minutes away from half an hour so a longer than normal frame for both these players who are, are generally very very fluent around the table. But at the end of the day it's about winning the frame and getting the first frame on the board setting those nerves down so neither will care about how long it will take as long as they chalk the first frame up on the board. It's just not happening for either player at the minute. Just got both got a little bit bogged down. Don't think Rihanna will be too upset with the outcome there, though. Got rather fortunate, although you would suggest Rebecca could roll up to these reds, which she has off the top cushion. Rianne could could pot the red into the middle, so I don't know if that was a unforced error there from Rebecca. I don't know if that was a bit of carelessness not checking that that red wasn't on. Although saying that, it might just Rianne might just acquire a point for this.
good pot on the green from Rianne. I presume the way she's queuing this up, she can get to the potting angle on this red next to the yellow. Obviously couldn't. So he just took the three points. She's now 28 in front, so she still needs two of these three remaining reds to put the frame at the snooker's required stage. So still a little bit of hope for Rebecca Kenner in this opening frame. shot from Rianne she certainly blocked the pot in angle to the red over the right hand pocket so Rebecca has got a bit of a problem here trying to get this safe it's a terrific shot oh I just wonder if not that uh, that cannon on the green and then onto the yellow has pushed the white out wide and I think Rianne can get to the this red here so that's that's a little bit unlucky there for for Rebecca she played a good safety, she was in a lot of trouble there. As Rianne sorts to hedge her way to this opening frame. 29 points ahead. Is there value in taking this pink on? It looks as if she's looking at the potting angle. Now she's looking at the green. Rianne would need one red and either the pink or black to put it at snooker's required. Oh, that's uh, that's gone wrong. changes the complexion of the scenario. Now 34 behind is Rebecca. So Rianne needs red and any colour to put it to the snooker's required stage. This is one of those situations where it's difficult perhaps for the referee because we're playing with such fine margins here. Obviously Rebecca could only hit a certain part of the red. I think she could have hit a little bit more. Yes, yeah, so you see the referee just moving it over slightly. But yeah, it's one of those tough situations for the referee to get that exactly right. But at the end of the day, Rebecca's still playing the same shot. Exactly as planned for Rianne there, but it's not too bad. Looks as if that's been well worked out from Rebecca. Snooker in Rianne via the pink and blue. And 
not necessarily the most basic of escapes either because the blue blocks a one cushion escape so possibly might be playing this off two cushions or, or possibly playing it one direct it's hard to well from that angle it looks as if she's going one cushion yeah it wasn't the easiest in the world and that's a nightmare scenario she's come around the back of it without hitting it and left Rebecca half a chance Wow. I can only imagine that that was straight on the red. That's the only reason why she's not taken that. I'm, I'm surprised a little bit about that because I wouldn't see, you wouldn't think Rianne's going to miss this again. But I guess even if she does hit it, she might leave it on. So it could end up being the right decision still. So it looks as if Rianne's coming off two cushions on this occasion. Yeah, I didn't think she'd miss it again. I thought she might have played that shot first because she was always going to be pushing the red up the table. So, well executed there from Rianne. Just wonder whether or not Rebecca's ruining putting the snooker and Rianne back in the snooker. I mean, at the absolute worst, she could have potted red in colour and then got the red off the cushion and played a good safety, but she was at the table at the time, so she knew what was best for her. Not a good outcome that for Rebecca. I think Rianne can cue this okay without being too hampered. What? So that puts a 31 ahead. If she pops the pink, then Rebecca will be requiring one snooker. Safely down. So after a little bit of drama, Rianne's got to the snooker's required stage. Not a bad effort that from Rebecca. Just wondering that she's been unlucky. Seems as if Rianne can get through the, the narrow gap of the blue and black. So yeah, that's rather unfortunate. You can't really vouch for that happening. I think Rebecca was just looking at the scores then. She's just contemplating what would happen if she potted this red. She could take red and pink. Red and pink would still leave her requiring just one four point snooker. Oh, that's, well, that's pretty much end of the frame. She was obviously trying to get the cue ball back down to the business end here, either land on black or pink. without doubt now surely Rianne's going to go 1-0 one, one up and she continues to be dominant still hasn't dropped a frame in this competition so far 3-0 in her opening round 3-0 in the quarter finals 4-0 in the semi-final and she's also taken the first frame here in the final of the 2018 Eden Resources Women's Masters and Rebecca concedes so it is Rian Evans 1-0. We'll be back with you for frame two very shortly.
So not the prettiest of starts for Rianne uh, or Rebecca in the opening frame, but Rianne did did win the frame before the colours, so she's 1-0 up. Still time for Rebecca to come back into this, this affair, though it's best to seven, first to four. This is Rianne's sixth consecutive Masters final. She won uh, the first four. Last last year lost a title to Neon Yi 4-3 in a enthralling final so she'll be desperate to add the Masters title to, to her collection again. It would be her second title of the season after winning the European Women's Masters in Neerpout, Belgium a few months ago. She did lose, she had a disappointing uh, early loss in the UK Championship as you mentioned to Rebecca in the last 16. And after making several sizeable breaks, including a 1-3-9, whilst in, in Sydney for the Australian Women's Open, she lost 4-3 in the last in the last four in the semi-finals to uh, Katrina Wan, who went on to lose a final to Omni. So this would be Rianne's second trophy of the campaign if she can manage to win another three frames. That's a terrific shot away from Rebecca. Although unfortunately for her, the cue balls managed to stay in the bulk area. I'm not really sure she's, she's got an option of going for a pot here. I would suggest she's going to roll up to one of the bulk colours. Yes, as prescribed, she's rolled up to the green, although it's not too much of a taxing escape here for Ian. She's got to be a little bit careful she doesn't leave one of these reds at the bottom end. But she's played that really well. Whoa, I said well for a second, I thought she was going to nestle up to it, so that's actually far from well. Yeah, I think she just grazed the red, but obviously the wrong side of it, so opportunity here for Rebecca to get a hand on the table I think if she can place the white in a certain position where she can get to the potting angle of the black so she's got to be a little bit oh, doesn't again doesn't doesn't fancy the pot so turn that down in, in favour of a, a safety Sometimes, of course, the camera angle that we we see on our screens is a little bit deceiving, so that might be a little bit more difficult than we anticipated. That's gone very wrong. Very wrong indeed for Rebecca. You have an anxious look at whether or not one of these reds go. It first looks like they might be blocking each other. Yeah, looking at her body language, it's difficult to tell if that's the case. If it is, Rebecca's got, got away with one there. Yeah, so that's, that's a bit of a slice of fortune for Rebecca Kenner on that occasion. Could quite have easily left Rihanna a selection of easy starters. But they all sort of just mingled with each other and Rihanna was forced to play a safety.
a nice shot from Rebecca there. I think that was a little attempt at the pot, a shot to nothing, but she, her main priority was obviously weaving the cue ball around those reds, which wasn't easy, especially when the reds are sort of spread out like that on the business end of the table. And it's a problem that now Rianne has, trying to get this cue ball back into bulk. Although it looks as if she's going to take this red on. Nice pot. She has cannoned the black, but it's a very risky pot if she was to think about going for it. So again, showing discipline, showing patience turning it down really making sure she turns the screw and not give Rebecca any opportunity to score she'll be well aware of Rebecca's capabilities in, in that um, category of her game it's proven to be the right decision because that's a lovely safety she's welded the cue ball to the bolt cushion It's going to end up on this occasion. Well, is she? Surely, surely not again. Just wondering whether or not one of those two reds next to each other, whether one of them goes into the middle. looks tight to me ah, it went so <coughs> Rebecca didn't get away with it again and what an opportunity this is for Rianne to put a few points up on the board all the reds in the open really pink and black in the middle of the table just be a little bit interesting to see where the pink's going to be respotted off that and you can see she's just having a quick look there as I mentioned that she won't want it interfering with the black or the reds underneath the pink, the apex of the pink. I guess even if it was, she'll be looking at perhaps trying to get the black onto its spot soon. Being the powerful break builder that she can be, she'll probably be having that in the back of her mind. As we can see there, that pink and black are rather close. I think the pink will go into the bottom left hand pocket though so it's not it's not too bad so one good shot here for Rianne and she'll be in in perfect position pink. yep so that tells us that the pink does go just wondering whether or not she might have an angle here just to nudge the black out of the way because the black whilst it's in the middle of the table doesn't go into either corner pocket so this might just free the black up a little bit yep took the opportunity to do that so now this is a real good chance for Rianne Evans. 40. 50. Yeah, and as you can see, the instinct of, you know, the experience from Rianne Evans. She wants to get that black onto its spot as soon as she can to maximise this opportunity. She's got to play this with a little bit of caution. She's slightly hampered. We've seen the table this weekend, it's very unforgiving, very tight pockets. We heard Dominic Dale earlier on say how, how difficult and how challenging this table is, so Rianne won't be taking anything for granted. Wouldn't have really wanted to have played up for one of the bolt colours, but felt in that situation it was probably best. 
as it is she's got a lovely angle on the brown here to drift back to the business end of proceedings and if you're Rebecca you've probably got to fear the worst here So that red did pass the other red. So still in prime position here. confident stroke there from Rianne, not, not worried about screwing the cue ball back with a little bit of pace on it, a little bit of punch. So break moves on to 43. Just slightly underdone that. I think she was looking at perhaps playing one of the two reds to the bottom right of the pink. Just a couple of inches from perfect position. She might still play this red but she, she realises that it's going into the other red so just got to think about where the cue ball's yeah, and that's what caused the problem you feel. She had to play it with a bit of pace, whilst if she was straight on the pink, she had options of either running onto the black or staying on the pink. So, a little bit of an error there from Rianne. She'll be disappointed that the break ended at 43. Lovely shot from Rebecca. That will certainly make her feel a lot better. So a little bit of a chance here to eat into Rianne's lead advantage in this frame. got a little bit of angle on this black. I, I don't know if she would have preferred to be possibly straight on this black so she could have screwed back into the, the two reds on the side or I'm not sure if that was her plan but certainly if she was straight that was, that was an option. Could perhaps select to play for the red at the top of the table. It's a little bit difficult to tell. Yep, so that's what she's she's gone for. This looks as if it's going to Mix in with the green though. Okay. So that's a nice shot. She couldn't really play anything too, too snazzy with the with the safety. Just wanted to contain it really. Certainly made sure of not allowing Rianne to pop the red at the top end of the table. a loose one from Rebecca. I'm just wondering whether or not she was actually trying to get the red off the cushion because that would work to her advantage being behind in this frame. But Rianne can't capitalise.
whilst this is Rebecca's third final on the World Women's Snooker Tour circuit, she is a three-time semi-finalist at the World Championship in recent years. Most recently, obviously, the, the 2018 edition that was held in Malta. Rebecca, I believe, lost to eventual champion on Yi. In fact, Rianne also lost in the semi-finals this year to Maria Catalana, who we saw on the live stream last night. Maria lost 3-0 to Susie Opacic, who eventually reached the semi-finals. It was her first first time in the semi-finals of the main competition, as as was Emma Parker's. So we've had a couple of players this weekend who have who have got further than they've ever done before on the women's scene. Of course, another side note to this: the outcome of this match is the the ongoing tussle for the world number one spot between Rianne Evans and Hong Kong's on on Yi. Currently, on Yi holds that status. She's the the first ever player from Asia to to hold the number one spot on the rankings. And with two further victories this campaign, she's in a strong position. So Rianne wants to try and eat into that rankings advantage that her closest rival has over her. Of course next year's World Championship is going to be held in, in Dubai. It's going to be held at the, the world famous World Trade Centre. in the United Arab Emirates, so almost certain to see Rianne Evans and Rebecca Kenner at that competition, trying to win the, the biggest title in, in women's snooker. Rianne, of course, is an 11 times world champion, so she'll be trying to secure the dozen. That takes place in March, so we do have a couple of, a couple of months before that occasion, but is on the horizon. Bit of a slack one from Rhiannon. and Rebecca can get through the gap here. Nice shot, although didn't want the cannon on the yellow, wanted to just drift past it. And we saw this a little bit in the opening frame. Rebecca potted a lot of balls, but was unable to unable to sort of manure too many colours afterwards or, or or make a break, so Rebecca's put some really nice balls in this match so far, but has, has been able to sort of like string them all together at once. Rumble. And as a consequence, has just had to play a, a rather sort of basic safety just to contain the situation. A little bit of thought into my next move. Hmm, 
In the end, it was a bit of a nothing shot, really. She's left Rebecca a teaser here. We, we have seen Rebecca turn down a, a couple of shots, quite rightfully on, on some occasions as well, but I don't think she can refuse this, this pot, although it is difficult across the, the top cushion. And there's evidence and... I think she's just left enough of this red sticking out so Rianne can, can pop this. Sometimes it appears a little bit further away from the cushion than it actually is. So Rianne's back in, trying to finish this frame off. only assume that the red doesn't pass the brown because I'm not quite sure why Rianne didn't take the yellow there unless the angle was a bit sort of misleading on our screens although it looks as if she's sizing to take this this red on so perhaps there's a little bit of doubt whether this goes or not mm. well it did go because she hit it on the other side so a little bit surprised that she didn't sort of stun the yellow in and then should have been straight in behind the red but she was at the table we weren't so there must have been something off putting Rianne that's a uh, that's loose from Rebecca her safety's actually been very good in this match so far but that was a real Loosener, that was a mistake. So that puts Rianne to within one pot of leaving Rebecca into requiring snookers. Very tricky across this bolt cushion if she does go for it. And again, Dominic Dale repeatedly told us in on commentary during the semi-final how difficult it is to pot on this table, especially along the cushions. So that just proves Dominic right. And Rebecca's still alive in this frame. And although we mentioned about all the colours being off their spots, they're not a million miles away from where they should be, so there is a chance of a counter-attack although that white's ended up as bad as it possibly could not only is she straight on this black the reds at the other end of the table so it appears she's just looking at perhaps dropping the black in taking the seven points and being 37 points down she has to pot it now she will require snookers herself A lot of pressure on this black. Needed it to go in, but the way she sort of bowed her head, I think she realises that she's actually snookered herself. But with the cue ball, it was a it was a horrible shot to have to play. It was it was straight. The cue ball was on the cushion. She could only really move the cue ball back and forward. to turn it over although that's that's a disaster yeah no no mistakes from Rianne there just making sure of the red 31 up now with with 27 remaining so the blue would put another couple of snookers away yeah, surprising miss just gives Rebecca still a little sniff at this frame. She'll certainly carry on. One four point snooker to tie.
a good response from Rebecca there. She was in a little bit of trouble. Still needs to snooker herself though, just to tie, so not sure if she's considering perhaps potting the yellow, green and brown and trying to get a five point snooker or six point snooker. Obviously that would certainly limit her options. That's the only problem doing that. We'll certainly find out now whether or not that's going to be her game plan. One would suggest after potting the yellow it will be. She had a simple yellow, simple green. Nice angle here to get on the brown. Five. We'll look to try and get the white kind of parallel with the the blue note, which she's looking at at a different angle. Obviously trying to get down in behind the black. If you could somehow get to the, the the blue to the right hand side of the table, she's got two chances of snookering Rianne with the black and pink. Nice. Well, she's going to try a different way. She's, I think she's going to try and hit it sort of very thin, but there's going to be a lot of pace on this cue ball, so she's going to have to really judge it well. Nice. Yeah, she's kind of limiting her options a little bit there, trying to snooker behind the pink. I'm don't think the angle was really there to snooker on the black. So anyway, chance for Ian to put this frame to bed. Doesn't pot it though. This is one of those awkward situations where it's very difficult to actually play a good safety, yet alone a snooker, with the blue so close to the pocket. She really doesn't want to pot the blue because that really would put her in a very difficult situation, you know, with just one snooker and ball remaining on the table. It's quite difficult to get distance between the Cubal and, and the blue here. If the cubal was a little bit further at the table, she could play some sort of like copped at, but I don't think that's really on. Well, that's a bit of a bonus. <coughs> Although you wouldn't you wouldn't expect someone like Rianne to miss this. Being so close to the cushion. Wow, that is a surprise. That is a real glaring error from the 11 times world champion. And what an unexpected opportunity this is for Rebecca. And if she can somehow <laughs> sink these last three balls, that's going to be a real, a real crippler for Rianne. But as we've seen with this pocket, as Dominic Dale was telling us earlier, it's very, very tight. So can't take any liberties with this. She has potted it though. And she realises what an opportunity this is. This is a golden opportunity to level the match at one frame all. It was very difficult putting it in the middle there, especially she needed a fair bit of pace to get back to the black, so went long. Although she hasn't potted it, she'd be delighted that she's back in the frame, but Rianne now, what's what she made of here? She's got to put that at the back of her mind. Just missed the dreaded double kiss there. So again, Rianne showing her discipline. She's remaining patient, not not panicking. She could have possibly had a go at that pink. And this looks like a good response from Rebecca, so this game is really back in the balance now. There's such a vast difference between one frame all and two nil. Especially in a, a race to four, best of seven frame match for a major title here on the World Women's Snooker Tour circuit. Oh, 
that's a bit short of pace from Rebecca Kenner and surely Rianne will be having a go at this one she did very close I think you find most of the tables we play with that will probably go in but with these pockets being so tight it didn't accept it at least a silver lining for Rianne is that she hasn't left it on just narrowly missed a double kiss and wasn't a million miles away from the in-off. So another tricky shot, a lot of distance here, nearly 12 foot of bays in between the cubal and pink, but there's a chance for Rianne to finish this off once and for all. And again, another example of how difficult it is on these pockets. Twice now, Rihanna's has jawed frame ball. I think that's just gone far enough for Rebecca. And that's a good, a good response from Rihanna. Obviously in this situation the ob main objective is getting the, the object ball safe. Rebecca's done a pretty good job returning that, although I just wonder whether or not Rianne's looking at the... Yep, she did leave it on. Where's the cue ball? Nope, cue ball's okay, so... After a massive scare there for Rianne, she uh, was at the snooker's required stage and, and, and missed a rather simple escape on the blue, but she, she sinks the pink at the third time of asking, takes a 2-0 lead, and she's halfway to the title here. We'll be back with frame three very shortly.
Okay, welcome back to this final of the 2018 Eden Resources Women's Masters here from the Southwest Snooker Academy in Gloucester. We've just seen Rianne Evans take frame two after a, a scare. She did get to the snooker's required stage, but, but missed a, a rather basic snooker to give Rebecca a sniff, although Rianne did put a fantastic long-range pink to seal the frame. So. Rihanna is halfway there to securing a fifth Masters title in six attempts. And you would think this is a critical frame now for Rebecca. She really has to get this. Needing to win four consecutive frames against an 11 times world champion is rather unlikely. And that will give Rihanna a bit of strength. If she lost that frame, that would have been a real real wrencher for her to to swallow that would have been very difficult but no damage done at all and that's all forgotten as far as she, she's concerned <laughs> Becca would be pleased how she did manage to get back into the frame in frame two Rianne did go in with a break of 43 or 44, I believe, and then broke down. So she did have a little advantage, so be happy that she got back into the frame. So the first two frames have been competitive. It's not as straightforward as it might necessarily sound. Just a reminder that the Re that Rihanna has yet to drop a frame this weekend here in Gloucester. She won her opening matches in the last 16 and quarterfinals against Louise Cothier and Chloe White, both 3-0. And then we saw her win a semi-final clash against debutant Emma Parker, 4-0 earlier on. So Rihanna is still yet to drop a frame in this year's competition. Rebecca herself has just dropped one frame in the opening round, knowing the semi-finals against Suzy Opacic. Just a reminder that these are the top two seeds in the competition. Both were spared qualifying in the round robins. They were automatically placed into the last 16, which began last evening here. There we go. The dreaded double kisses come into play. Becker will be thankful that the black doesn't appear to go into the bottom right hand pocket so a little bit of work required here for Rianne to get ideally on a colour. Trying to come around the back of it. It's not too bad. She is on the black. It is it is a tricky one, but if she can pot it, she's straight down, so must be feeling good about it. That nah, looks wide. Yeah, it always looked wide. I think it's very important for Rebecca to remain positive in this match. We saw earlier with Emma Parker in the semi-final meeting with Rianne that she remained aggressive and positive throughout despite the scoreline. Rebecca's a fantastic break builder. We've seen her, seen her make several sort of valuable contributions. We know she makes breaks in practice as well. 
So, you know, that's one of her strengths. So I don't think she should be holding back or altering a, a normal game plan. <coughs> yeah, that's a real confidence booster for Rebecca. Although, on second looks, whilst it was a good pot on the pink, I don't think she's on a red. I think they're all blocking each other again. And it's a, it's a continuing theme in this match so far. Neither player has really been able to release the shackles. They've Both frames have, have caused up problems like this with balls blocking other balls. Oh, that was just a little bit careless, really. It would have been good, good in billiards, but she'll get no points for that in this match. And if anything, she might be punished if Rianne can pot this red. Avoid the cannon on the black. Just wonder if she can play it with any bit of tracer check side. Yeah, she might have played that with a little bit of check side to avoid the cannon on the black, but. Obviously, as soon as you're doing that, you make the pot itself very difficult, especially over the distance. So no one so far has, has landed the first punch in this third frame. Both players have been at the venue since around 10 o'clock this morning, so perhaps fatigue a little bit will come into the equation. Although, as I mentioned before, Rianne, neither the Rianne or Rebecca had to play in the round robin, so they didn't actually have to start their campaign until last evening. Most everybody else in the competition had to go through the qualifying phase, which began on Saturday morning. Rianne did have a little bit more time off before the final instead of Rebecca. Rebecca, as I said, lost the opening frame to Susie Opacic in her semi-final before coming back to win 4-1. Whilst Rianne won four straight frames against teenager Emma Parker. At least the black and pink still remain in play, so whoever does pot the opening red to this frame does have an opportunity to score some points, although just trying to establish a chance to begin with. It's not a bad safety there from Rebecca. Has been a trait of her, her game so far, her safety's been pretty good. And she has potted a, a number of decent balls, but unable to sort of string anything together and, and get her scoring boots on. Though I said it was a good safety, I think she has left a gap on this red. Well, that's gone wrong for Rianne. So then, Rebecca. Opportunity knocks here. It appears the pink goes into the bottom right-hand corner, so... Is a chance to score a few points. Oh, that's um, that's disappointing. Again, we, we've seen it quite a few times today on the stream that it's sort of the ball to unlock the frame. Really, she knew if she potted that red, she could make make a decent little break and, and perhaps get control of the frame but 
It's the pressure of knowing you have to pop that opening ball to open the chance up. Now with that red gone, the pink goes in all pockets. Rianne's perfect on the red ear. And straight away, as we said, the, the predator she is, she'll be trying to get this black back onto the spot to really fully capitalise on that mistake from Rebecca. I can only assume it was, was a, a lack in concentration. I don't think the ball drifted off or anything. Especially on these, you know, ultra fine cloths. That's very unlikely to happen. Many of these reds, it's like a practice session, really, if you look at it. Apart from perhaps the reds on the cushion, you might scatter these reds across the table down your local club. So you expect Rian to be the punisher here. These are worrying times for Rebecca Kenner and her supporters. I know there'll be plenty of people watching at home. As will, of course, Rianne. Rianne's got quite a following herself. Not just with the results on the, the women's circuit, but elsewhere in the snooker world. So the break moves on to 30. She did have a, a 43 break in the last frame. That's her best contribution of the match so far. She'll certainly be hoping to, to better that on this during this effort. Yeah, that's worked out nicely. Would have been a problem if she hit the brown, but just grazed past it. Well, that's gone wrong. She certainly didn't want to cannon into that red. She got a little bit too much juice on it. Although she is straight behind this red, although she is on the cushion. She stayed down. Yep, yeah, wasn't happy, so... She's only got herself to blame there, really, Rianne. She overhit, over sort of amped the brown. And while she made a, a break in the 30s with the reds where they are, there's no reason why Rebecca can't match that effort and follow in, follow in kind. Rebecca's on the black, although she just seen if she's got an angle. Does look a little bit straight on this. Again, this is this is a, a real pity for Rebecca. She just can't get going. really do much with this black except sort of go backwards and forwards so just having a look perhaps bringing the back the, the cube back a few inches playing the red into the middle pocket while well, she sort of punched it in tried to try to punch out as much angle as she could really so giving her a, a little bit more leeway although again there's pressure on this pot nice. yeah nicely played though She'll really realise that she can't afford to go 3-0 down against a player of Rianne's calibre. What I've seen of Rebecca Kenner, she has got a very good temperament, mentally strong. Nice shot. Would have liked a little bit more pace on the cue ball. Yeah, 
and she's kind of in between all she's kind of in between the pink blue and yellow here I think the pink is probably the the easiest for a little bit of a stretch yeah nice shot a little bit unlucky there I wonder if she was deliberately trying to go into those reds I think possibly she's trying to hit the bottom of the reds to hold for the red in the middle but obviously the main ambition was to, to make sure of potting the pink looking at the angle here yep so continues continues the break moves on to 23 obviously the problem is now we're running out of reds there's only one more red readily available if she wants to continue it she's going to have to think about playing some sort of a development shot, move those reds away from the side cushion it was a nice pot although she just didn't get enough side on the cue ball as soon as it hit the top cushion didn't really sort of spring off to the side I mean she's looking at a plant here, I mean there's a bit of distance here there's, yeah that was Mainly about safety, you would you would imagine looking at, at the cue ball. So she hedged her bets, although it would have it was very sort of adventurous for it actually going in. But anyway, it was a nice nice break from Rebecca, and she's now only five points behind. So she's well back in the frame. Now she might have the chance to take the lead. She can put one of these reds with a colour. But again, another prime example of just it's that tricky opening ball it's unlocking the chance she would have been perfect on the blue as you see I mean okay maybe the cue ball would have been slightly different if she'd potted the you know the the angle would have altered but Rianne's over hit that one it's a nice pot although again a little bit too much juice on it shot from Rianne just wiggled in I guess she played it at a nice pace because we've seen quite a few of those not being accepted on these very tight pockets but really controlled that well Seven. and well she's not been at her fluent best today Rianne she's remained very calm showing you know real experience this is why she's won so many titles in the Snooker World. I'm looking for another one today, trying to recapture her Masters crown that she's worn on four previous occasions. This might go into the yellow pocket. 
It's a good attempt. Knew she could only really leave the red that she was taking on, although you know the yellow and green, possibly blue, were coming into play. So that was a that was worth a worth a punt. Still time for Rebecca though, only 17 points behind, 43 still remaining, although with the position of the red on the top cushion, very difficult to finish season one, and that's an excellent, excellent response there from Rianne, so that's the other side of a game that she's so, so proficient at, as a safety aspect. Spot a bother for Rebecca here. Really got to make sure she doesn't go past this red. Yes, looks black to me. Yeah. Yeah, Rianne's not even entertained looking at that red. So those additional seven points put Rianne 24 in front. So she's edging ever closer to a 3 0 lead. Looks black again. I can kind of see Rebecca's uh, plan here. I mean, if she does push the red onto the cushion, she's not, she's not going to be leaving. And I think, although if if you look at it, the red's slightly obscured by the black. She can only kind of hit it full board on the, uh, the left hand side as we're looking. So this is very sort of fine, fine margins, really. But she looks as if she's staying the same course. So she made the alteration this time. Yeah, well, that's good. That'll do. There's always a chance of sort of coming round the back of the red and leaving it on into either corner pocket. But she'll be delighted with that outcome. wasn't a real attempt by Rianne to pop the ball. It's just really trying to swing the cue ball back into the bulk area. from Rianne, though it appears that she's got away with it big time because the other red is behind the black so that's a real fortuitous outcome even the best need a little bit of luck at times if you look at it if Rebecca was on that red. Good chance to counter attack. She could have got the cue ball down here, possibly play on the, the black or pink. And whilst the red is next to the black, I think it goes into the bottom left hand pocket as we look. might not be as easy as it looks to escape from because it kind of looks as if the middle pocket would be in the way of a one cushion going sort of across the table that's why she's looking at the, the top cushion here I 
Yeah, so she's actually playing the red by the black. So this is fraught with danger. Needs to be very delicate here. Yeah, that was that. That looked like a, a likely outcome. To be fair, and she's basically handed it on the plate to to Rian here. Just needs red in colour. Red and pink will do. And there's a red hanging over the middle pocket. So just make sure of the pink, Rian, and you're almost certainly three nil up in this final. Yeah, no. Promise you should be keen to make sure of this red though after what you saw in the last frame. So another sort of keenly contested frame has been won by Rianne and just shows Rianne's class that she's while well, she might not be firing on all cylinders, she's controlling the situation. Still yet to drop a frame in this competition this weekend. 3-0 up and one frame away from regaining her Eden <coughs> Masters title here at the Southwest Snooker Academy in Gloucester. So we'll make a break of 35 earlier on in the frame. It'd be nice for her to just clear the colours here. Will we see this blue being played at pace? Yeah, a little bit of pace. Missed it. She won't be bothered at all. Yeah. And I believe that's the concession. So Rihanna Evans takes frame three. She moves 3 0 up and she's just one frame away from the title. We'll be back with you uh, for frame four very shortly. Yeah. 
Evans, 7. Okay, welcome back to frame four of this final here at the Eden Resources Ma Women's Masters Final 2018. Just seen Rianne Evans take frame three, so she's now fully in command. Just needs one more frame for the title, her fifth Masters title in six attempts. Rianne's just establish a little advantage here in, in the f what she's hoping will be the, the final frame of the weekend. Rebecca's you know, thought at the minute would be obviously trying to avoid the whitewash. All Rebecca can really do is take one frame at a time, one ball at a time. But if she were to somehow muster up four frames on the trot it would remark as one of the most incredible comebacks on the women's circuit possibly of all time So we do have um, other tables are still in action here at the Southwest Academy. We have at the uh, under 21s event, the seniors event, and the Challenge Cup. If you want to keep up to date with all the latest scores and results, if you want to head over to mysnookerstats.com, all the score lines from this weekend's action here are there. So you can also have a look at the the routes that these two players have taken. As I said, if Rianne was to win this frame, it would mean she's won the tournament without dropping an entire, going through the entire tournament without dropping a frame, which in the current climate is very impressive because we've seen a, a number of players sort of emerging over the last year or so. Emma Parker and Susie Opacic, the beaten semi finalists today, both reached the semi finals of a, a main event for the first time. Whilst Rebecca is, is appearing in her third major final on the circuit. She's also a three-time world semi-finalist. But Rianne's the most successful of all, and by some distance. This would be a high five for her in regards to Masters events. We know she's won 11 world championships, multiple UK championships. The real big prizes on the women's circuit. Good opening red, but just the wrong side of the blue, so perhaps we'll take a medicine here and just run through a little bit and leave a longer distance on this red. She has had breaks of 43 and 35, so very modest for a player of Rianne's calibre, but she's held herself together really well today in terms of maintaining her discipline, being very patient, very calm and collecting. That's a lovely shot, beautiful shot from Rianne Evans. Centre of the pocket. Drifted across the face of the pack and absolutely perfect, absolutely plumb on this black. 
obviously the, the issue is where the black's going to be spotted after she pots it I don't know whether it will still be available into the same pocket she's pocketing it now or whether it will be tied up we'll soon find out hard to tell from that angle whether or not it goes I don't think it does so yeah she just getting the cue back out to the middle of the table not the worst of flicks in the world on the pink uh, on the red to stay on the pink but when she pots this pink it looks as if the pink spot is occupied so that might go onto the yellow that's a beautiful shot So she actually made way for the pink there. Although she might have sacrificed absolute perfect position on a red. She is etching out a lead here. Okay, I'm not sure if that was a, an attempted pot. Or obviously by the looks of it, the main, main aspect of that shot was a safety. So she'd be disappointed that the break ended there she's in control of this frame it's the frame she needs to claim the title and with a 1500 pound payday which is a very nice amount of money for a day's day and a half work and again a lovely shot from Rianne would have liked to have been a little bit closer to the red but can't see this being too much of an issue it looks as if she'll maybe just stun across a little bit for the pink oh it was so there was a little bit of a degree of difficulty attached to it perhaps maybe a little bit of tension to where the cube was going to go afterwards so is this the last chance saloon for Rebecca Kenner in this final Looks like she can possibly move the red out of the way of the black here. I'm not sure if she's going to push the black. Yeah, it's just not. It's just not happened for Rebecca today. And we go back to that pivotal second frame where she needed a snooker. Actually, fluked a snooker, but it was quite a simple one to escape from. But Rianne missed. If Rebecca had somehow managed to pinch that frame, that could have been a real turning point in this match. Uh, I'm not saying. Rebecca would have necessarily won the match, but definitely have a different complexion to everything. She has remained positive. She's been positive and remained competitive in all three frames. In the last frame, we have made a break of 35, but she got back into it. So there are the Walsh. Rebecca will be disappointed if she does go on to lose this match. Again, there'll be definite positives for her to take back to Yorkshire you look at her results not just here but elsewhere on the on the circuit she's very consistent as we said she is the number two seed for this competition this weekend and really apart from losing the opening frame to Susie Opacic in the semis she's she's come through very comfortably so she really is establishing herself as one of the players at the top table of the women's game. A bit of a bonus there for Rebecca. Perhaps she needs a little, a little spark or something to get something going here.
I wonder if she might try the brown and trying to get on the on the reds. She needs something to happen now. It's kind of now or never. Just looks like she's going to roll up to the brown. Yeah, well that's. Should be frustrated with that one. Well, that wasn't Rian Sunday best by any means. That was quite a distance away. Got away with it though. Just a a little bit of indiscipline there from from Rebecca. She's. She'll be frustrated and upset how this final's gone, but if she actually looks back at the final, she hasn't been totally outplayed, so she's got to take a positive from in that respect. It's been the same for Rianne. We, we knew that these conditions are very, very challenging, possibly even more challenging than what you might see on, on TV with professional tables being a bit more sort of slippy and forgiving. I think Rianne's really adapted the game well this, this weekend of what I've seen. It's been very realistic in her shot selection. And she's done a professional job. It's as simple as that. You haven't dropped a frame all weekend. You've been doing something right. Yeah, that's a nice return from Rebecca. Would have loved it just carry on just another inch or two. Would have been right and beyond the yellow. Can't really grumble with that outcome. Oh, uh, an error from Rianne. So do you have anything left, Rebecca? not there at the minute. She would usually knock that ball in with her eyes closed. So sort of hundred times up a hundred but the way things have gone sort of the, the days getting later things like that seem to happen so just think a confidence might have gone a little bit in this match but again I go back to that second frame that really could have been pivotal we actually saw it with with Rianne's semi-final against Emma Parker there, there was whilst it was 4-0 Emma was kept quite close to Rianne in most of the frames I recall Again, just biding her time. 
She knows she doesn't have to be the aggressor. Doesn't have to force the issue. That's a lovely shot. Another example of what Rebecca is capable of. A single ball potting. And she might feel now is the time to sort of let her arm go a little bit. We've seen it before in on the professional game. We've seen it before in all forms of snooker. When the pressure's off, if you let your arm go, funny things could happen. So she won't be giving in, that's for sure. Yeah, and another very nice shot. So perhaps Rebecca just realises just to play a little bit more freely. Which I think you have to play this game in that in that manner. If you tighten up, it's just going to get worse. So perhaps the cuffs are off now. She we just sort of go with the float? Wondering whether or not Rebecca might think about taking, trying to take the red off the side cushion here at the same time. She should, if she does, she should be on either pink or black. Well, elected against it. But nice pot on the red anyway. Just a little bit of a stretch here. Got to be careful. Yep, safely down. So also it's only been a break of 17, it's, it's had a number of <laughs> impressive pots to it. And again, so perhaps she is just relaxing a little bit, realising that could this you know, this could be her last chance. Just trying to enjoy it more than anything. And all of a sudden she's only twenty points behind. Again, that is so difficult in that pocket. We've seen so many balls rejected, and you know, Rebecca hit that well. I mean, she did have to hit it with a bit of pace to get the cue ball out, but most tables that would have gone in. especially what we've seen of Rianne this weekend re she'll realise that there's still a little bit of mileage left in this match she won't certainly be taking any liberties, she want to close this out with a minimum of fuss she doesn't want any drama on these colours, that's for sure when is this going to end up well Half a chance for Rianne here. It's hard to say it's a it's a chance to, to win the match, especially the way the other red is, but she can inch ever closer to victory. No, doesn't go. And this red does go, that cannon's just put it into place slightly. So you would think Rebecca's going to play a snooker here. I think, yeah, while she's got the snooker, she might be. It's hard to tell whether or not Rianne could swerve around this. But whatever the. Yeah, she's just got a little bit of room to manoeuvre a swerve. Yeah. So was not the 
Best shots from Rebecca. She wanted to be a lot tighter to that yellow. But she is back in this frame. And if you look at the colours, they're all in the open. All oh, right, the green is at the bottom end of the table, but it's it's not on a cushion. If Rebecca can pot this last red, she will have a chance at a counter attack. Yeah, I see what she was trying there. She was just trying to hit the more the right side of the red as we look to possibly get the white in behind the black. So, is will Rianne have a go at this red? It could be the red that. Helps her seal the title. And that's an excellent shot. Well, if that shot does lead, if this break does lead to the title, that's um that's a very fitting end into a dominant display this weekend. Well she's not been nowhere near what she possibly Wow, <laughs> am I talking too soon? Because she surprisingly misses the blue. So which is that's a real shocker after such a show stopping red. So Wow, how oh, this turns around very quickly. 20 points down. Rebecca would need all the remaining colours. But I'm sure she's taken out many, many more difficult clearances than this before. It's not bad. It's not bad. Not, not perfect. At least it appears she has an angle to crunch this in and get back up towards the brown and if she can get on a good place a good spot for the brown she could be favourite to take the frame yeah it's just just because she had to put a little bit of work into the cue ball So 18 points the difference. Rianne needs two colours as it stands. Ah, that's gone wrong. So another chance now for Rianne to see with the deal does need the brown though she's only 21 up with 22 remaining a bit of a stretch but this brown should lead her to the title and there it, there it goes so it looks as if Rianne Evans is going another is going to add a Yet another major honour to a CV. And that's fantastic. Ending with fanfare now. That's a terrific blue from Rianne. Pots to pink. Rianne Evans is a 4-0 winner here in the final of the 2018 Eden Resources Women's Masters. She is the champion for a fifth time in six occasions. She re regains her crown after losing it last year. Didn't drop a single frame throughout the throughout the weekend. Well, she wasn't at 100%. She was nowhere near her supreme best. She remained very disciplined and very patient. Didn't drop a single frame. So we'd like to say thank you very much to everybody for, for tuning in this uh, weekend. We really hope you've you've enjoyed um, the live streaming and commentary that we, we've brought you. We hope to do this again in, in, in the near future, hopefully. Um, if you've liked what you've seen and heard, we'd be really we'd really appreciate it if you don't mind um sort of sharing the the videos and uh obviously liking the facebook page and um our pages on on twitter as well um thanks for tuning in and we'll see you again soon in the future